shins, 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 right? What's here? Nothing. You want to be here. You never know. Again, what is here? Nothing. Now, a lot of you guys will get kills like this, and you'll be like, well, that's why I don't aim head height. It is easier to flick down. It's just, it's not hard to flick down. It isn't. So, like, this kill, don't be like, oh, this is why I always stare at the ground. That's not true. That's not why you stare at the ground. You stare at the ground. If that's the case, if, you, if that's why you stare, I'm not saying he says this, but if that's the case, then what's this for? When people randomly prone against a concrete wall, you know? What's going on, YouTube? My name is Braction. I am a Rainbow Six Siege coach and an ex semi professional player. In today's video, I hope I teach you what you are looking for. I truly hope you get better. And if you guys have a time, I stream every single day on Twitch and I even have my own charm in the game that you can wear and represent. Enjoy the video and thanks for watching. All right, in today's video, I am doing some coaching slash reacting to clips sent to me by you guys. If you guys also want me to coach you for free, you want me to react to your clips, all you have to do is go to my Twitch channel and type this in right here. Command submit and a Google Doc form will pop up. We have mods. Look these over daily to make sure nothing bad is in them. I watch them about a week later. All right. Let's go see what we have going on. Some Sophia gameplay. Two stuns, two impacts in pocket. I'm pretty sure this is my mod. So we see a Sophia. I mean, pause. We see a clash. Probably should get ready to use your gadgets, but we'll see. Decent ish crosser placement. The biggest issue so far is that the crosser placement isn't amazing, right? We could see it from the beginning to the end. This is arguably the biggest mistake that most people make. As you look here, he turns, crosshair is on ground, right? Now watch. Low, low, crosshair is still where it's at, on the ground. Not good. Swings. Now is looking at nothing. He needs to get to the door immediately, as soon as possible. Right? Otherwise, he'll have an issue. And then still... Look, if he had better crosser placement to the door, he would be here for the easy kill. So this kill, he'll either die here or get a very weird lucky kill. Weird and lucky it is, right? So crosser placement, obviously an issue. And it looks like it's going to continue the hallway here. Again, my boy is on the floor. And you know what? Let's just keep this highlighted, okay? Keep it on that crosser the whole time. On the ground. You want to avoid dead crosshair placement as much as possible. I'll probably say it a thousand times today. It's just you want to make sure you're always prepared for a fight. It's impossible for anyone to be down here against a concrete wall. You should be up here at the door at all times. Even if you're loading doing nothing, practice this at all times. Got to kill with his claymore. He said he was lagging. He can't help it. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Crosser placement's up. Fixed it. Getting the bomb. Don't have to look at it to pick it up, by the way. But look, low, 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 low. Right here is going to stun out to see if anyone is close. No one seems to be close to the door. So you walked low the entire... Well, you looked low the entire round I watched you in this clip. Cross replacement was constantly low to the ground. And the one time you don't look low, you miss a cap can. That is truly, truly unfortunate. All right, cross replacement and you'll be okay. Next clip, we have an IQ PC again. Champion charm. Good cross replacement. We're going to adjust this, it looks like, because it looks like this guy's crosser is... A little disaligned with the other clip, which is okay. There we go. He's looking around. He is 11 and 3 in this clip. 
So again, this is this is if this is a person standing, right? You can see he's a little higher than the normal crosshair placement. It's a little too high. But I guess he's outside, so it ain't that big of a deal, but still practice it. He's still way too high here. Now he fixes it, and now he's high again. So before you turn this door, you should be looking at this concrete wall, already looking at the staircase. That way nobody can kill you if they happen to be there, prepared. He gets it, but I kind of realized that when he quick peeks, it looks like it might be a little too wide. We'll take a look right now. It looks like a little too wide. So you see how wide he came out? I'll show you one more time. This means that his entire body from here out is exposed. You want to be careful doing this because this means that when you're quick peeking, you're exposing too much. You're not setting up before the quick peek. You're trying to like quick peek yourself at the same time. So it could lead to you dying because you're showing your entire, your entire body too much. Let's take a look. All right. He does it a few times. That happens to be normal. It's just making sure. Ah, uh, you see, like, you see how, look, it's perfect. Watch, look, look. Even here he does it, right? On the staircase. He wants to go quick beat this, but the first time, watch. Peeks it, done, right? Oh, look, he's setting up. This one, your shoulder's sticking out. This one, your shoulder's sticking out. This one, your shoulder's sticking out. And now you're dead, right? You want to limit it to max one peak. I bet you on his end, you're going to see a lot of body peeking here on his kill camera's look. I bet you the guy that kills you sees a lot of your body. Let's take a look. So that's once he saw you, twice, three times, four, and let's be honest, on time three and four, you never even recovered or a covered body, right? You never recovered your body. So you went here, your head's out, and your head stayed out. This guy was terrible that killed you. You just, your quick peeking was off, your body was too exposed. Mechanics are there, you just gotta clean them up. A little bit. All right. Why does it say I've watched all these already? Let's continue. All right. One kill. Easy peasy. It is a 2v2 scenario. Bravo cams, two claymores, another drone in pocket. A lot could be done. <clears throat> Crosshair placement, something I always look at. Looking again. Pre aiming. Not bad. Right? Could obviously be cleaner mechanically, but you have the right idea. Cross replacement seems to be a little low here, but it's okay. My issue right now, I would say, is that you probably got to call out that somebody's red, and that's okay. But you can't completely ignore this door again. You have to check the door one more time. I know you just checked it, but you double check again, and then you go. You just can't skip it. You can't. Because on the way out, you checked it again, which is good. He walked into a banshee. Again, his quick peeks are not clean. I think he knows that he needs to be cleaner. He's messing up here with his fingers. You could see it, but he's adjusting. He has to get better at that. He knows that. You didn't ignore it this time, which is good. Not ignoring, not ignoring. Right here, this could be a sense is too fast type of thing where... Your sense is a little too fast because you could see how wobbly you are. All right, let's go back here. Right, like look how look you went all the way up by the book. Your sense could be a little too fast. Flicks, right? Mechanical issue, right? You're shooting, 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 shooting to the angle. 
a little sloppy. Got to clean it up. But you're checking good crosshair placement. This is why people can have bad mechanical movement but have great crosshair placement and still get a lot of headshots and kills because they have good crosshair placement. So good, so good, so good, so good, so good. He sees knee. Good drone. Now, this is a scenario where he's going to need to know how to quick peek. And I've already seen his mechanical movement is the greatest, so we'll see. Isn't the greatest? That was a good quick peek. One time, fully recovered his body, swing with information, and he didn't re-peek standing. He re-peeked crouching. That was good. That was actually very good. That was surprising. Very nice. It looks like round one, you didn't get any kills. Round two is preparations. So we're picking up from right here. Still no kills. So if you guys can do me a favor, just clean these clips up because he hasn't done anything just yet. But he's playing Legion on console. Got a trap down. Crosser placement for console players isn't that easy, so I won't really stress it that much. But it is really important. You just can't forget it. Strafe, quick peeking. Oh, you're doing a lot of movement. Like nothing's happening to you and you're like walking all over the place. You just kind of have to pick a spot and chill. Nothing is down there. Crosser, place, crosser placement, pick it up. You got to stop moving like this. Oh, you just got droned. Some potato in, but again, console things. And you're dying. Okay, there's a lot going on here. So from the beginning of this clip, in my opinion... You're on the table, off the table, on the table, off the table, throwing lesion mind. Like, you have to sit down and pick a spot. Just relax, chill out, okay? And then I didn't see anything else, but pretty much you throwing a gadget exposed to the door. And this door should already be trapped. This already needs to be done. You can't be doing this this late in the round. You get the things on the outside first, and then you trap the things on the inside. Because over here, you're trapping the sight door here. Like, this is one of the first ones to get done, but you should get the out the door away from you the furthest, and then get this one, because it's safer, right? <clears throat> so you're dead there. Now I'm watching you play Thermite. Thermite Hollow. What got my charm on? Thermite in the wall. Playing it safe. It looks like they shot the thermite off the wall. I don't even know how you got in there. Right now, any droning you do is irrelevant because you're so far from the building that even if you do drone somebody, you can't act on it. You're way too far. This is a big issue a lot of people have is where they're so far from the building. When they drone, it doesn't matter. Right, look, Vigil's there. You can't even jump in on him now. Look how far you are. You should be in there be flash pushing him, right? It doesn't matter if somebody else killed him. You got to be closer to the building. Are you going to open the door once he's okay? Jumping in. Now you could thermite. Wait, you could type in all chat on console? I didn't know that. Or are you, I'm so confused. Brother, you need to plant. There you go. You have a smoke, by the way. You could use a smoke. I hope you don't die here trying to plant. It's not a good smoke. There's gonna be a big gap to the smoke. Yep. Fade away though, we like that. I will watch one more of your clips because it seems like uh, I know you're in my chat a lot, so I don't mind giving a little extra. You're waiting to be swung. You don't want to hold the pixel too long. I understand. I mean, I am going to stop watching at this point, but this seems like a lot of people are done your team. You're just unaware there's a hole here. Like these things have to. Oh, you just got random shotgun through the wall. Oh, I, you can't do anything about this. This is super unlucky. 
these holes weren't made. He made them as he killed them. That's just... There's nothing that you can really do there. I right, continue. Oh my god, half of these clips have already started. They must have been played in the background. Alright, some Buck PC gameplay. Crosshair placement, boys. We're going to highlight it. Good or bad crosshair placement? Comment below. I guess he heard him, so I don't really care about this crosshair placement. Shotgun, smart. Where is my charm? Default camera up, shoots it. Crosshair placement low. Recoil taking off. Okay, so recoil a little, a little sus, but got to clean the crosshair placement up. Look, what's here? Let me ask you, what is here? What are we looking for here? You go from here to here. Clean it up. All right. Nothing is there. Let's keep watching. Nothing's there. Nothing's here. There you go. Right to there is the next place you go. Good. Now, you should go to the door. There's a door here. Right here on the top left is where you should be going. Shins. 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 Right? What's here? Nothing. You want to be here. You never know. Again, what is here? Nothing. Now, a lot of you guys will get kills like this, and you'll be like, well, that's why I don't aim head height. It is easier to flick down. It's just, it's not hard to flick down. It isn't. So, like, this kill, don't be like, oh, this is why I always stare at the ground. That's not true. That's not why you stare at the ground. You stare at the ground. If that's the case, if you, if that's why you stare, I'm not saying he says this, but if that's the case, then what's this for? When people randomly prone against a concrete wall, you know? We got to clean this up. No one's there. You want to pick always the left side of the door, right side of the door. That's it. Always pick it. You always will improve. Too low. You clean these things up. It's okay. This is okay because of the table height. But this is not, right? Turning. Has audio. You see how now he has to go like this up to get a kill? It's not worth it in a game with one shot headshot. You should always be there. He has to shoot 20 bullets instead of one bullet on tapping. Look, a lot of dead. A lot of dead. Look at this. Who's there? Alright. Not bad, though. Got to improve. Got to improve the crosshair placement. There's nothing you can do about that. Uh, 1v5 ace with the Jaeger. Let's take a look. Holding a tight angle. Good. This see the the thing about this right is that people, if you're gonna hold a really tight angle, like a super tight angle, right? When someone sh crosses it a little bit and you see the color change, like you see the color yellow, red, blue, whatever, you see a little color change, you then make this tight angle a big angle by swinging it and reacting off that information. That's big. That's what he did right there. That's very good. Emerald Charm. Emerald Player. See, look. He fixes the angle. Look how tiny it is. If he sees color change, he swings. Now, he's doing something that I think is really important. is acting on information. Someone dies. He reacts. Crosshair placement. Look at this. A little. Look, it's not it's a little low. But guess what? Someone's crouching. And he fixes it back to the top. Headshot. Because his crosshair placement is good enough, he's going to get that headshot. And he's going to get another headshot. Very nice. Get a good call out. Yeah, so she's in lounge. She's bringing up. I have no intel for you anymore. She's in lounge. Go on cam. She's in lounge. You see how he's taking the space? He's not letting the guy walk all the way up. 
He's he's pushing up and he's taking the space. Two zero. Hold on, eight, hold on. Look, he's taking it. He knows that she needs to come up. Swing your B swung. Love it. Yeah, this guy's a beast. Good for you. All right, chat. If you guys want to send me your gameplay, all you have to do is head over to the Discord. Uh, and then go to the Twitch channel and type in submit. I'll be doing a lot more of these today on stream. If you're watching this video, I am currently streaming. And I'll react to clips at the end of stream. Make me do it. Don't let me get off stream without doing it. All right, I'll see you guys later.